Dylan, I can't carry games. Well, it's because your account looks like this. In today's profile view, we're going to be looking at a goal two player who wants to get the diamond and their biggest issue at the moment is losing streaks and they can't carry games. And that's kind of interesting, right? Because we can see 62% win rate here, 83% win rate, 80%, 60%. Yet in their last 20 games, we can see a 40% win rate. So what's going on or what's going wrong here? Now, before we get into this profile view, if you want your op.gg review just like the one we're about to do now, please check out the link in the YouTube description below to get yours. Let's get into the video. Currently, you are gold to 27 LP and your goal is to get the diamond. And you've stated that one of the biggest problems holding you back is you just go on massive loss streaks and you really struggle to carry games. So we're going to help cover those in the next 10 minutes and help you figure out what you need to do um, to get to diamond. So the first thing I do when I look at a profile view is I look at your champions, what you're playing in your recent match history, and I look at that in respect to your win rates. And something I've noticed here is that you have recently been playing a lot of jungle and a bit of 80 carry, or just mostly jungle, and you've got a 39% win rate. And I'm not too sure why you're playing jungle, because um, it's not the role you as an individual have the most potential to carry on. And given your biggest problem is saying you can't carry games, well, if we want to carry games, we should be playing the role that we, as an individual player, have the most impact on. And that's different for everyone. It could be jungle for some people. It could be top lane for others. It could be support. It could be mid. Generally, um, it relates to how much you enjoy the role and how good you are in the role, as well as like your mastery, which is interlinked with both of those. So... For you, for example, you shouldn't be playing jungle. You should be playing your top lane because I can see here your Ornn has a 62% win rate. Your Wukong, I mean, that's probably Wukong jungle, but your Mordekaiser, maybe that's Mordekaiser jungle as well. But regardless, if they aren't jungle, um, really good win rates, and then your Ornn is by far your best win rate. So if I was you or if you were my client and I was trying to get you to diamond, the first thing I would do is say, stop playing jungle, play Ornn, one trick him and get to diamond. Now that is if you were wanting to climb to diamond in the fastest way possible, one trick on top lane to diamond. Easy, done. So easy. Um, you can carry games as top lane. Um, to expect much higher than a 62% win rate in solo queue as well is a little bit um, unrealistic. So the fact that you've got a 62% win rate, yes, it's only over 13 games, but um, that just says to me, Orn is really good potential. You've got a lot of potential on him and he can carry you to diamond. Now, if you're like, well, I don't like playing top lane. I would go, well, okay, then we need to find what role you enjoy. And maybe that is jungle. And if it is jungle and you've got a win rate of 39%, um, a profile view is not really going to help that. Um, I can give some generic advice like, you know, pick one champion and just master it and focus on the champion you enjoy the most or you have the most fun on. Again, it could be this Wukong with, or this Mordekaiser with 80%, 60% win rates. Or you could be playing them in jungle and I'd say play them over your Vi, your Hecarim, your Nocturne because at the moment you're just playing a bit too much. I mean, your Nocturne actually has some decent stats in your last, you know, nine games on him. So it could be Nocturne as well. But really, you want to pick one of those and just one trick them. Again, it's the easiest way to climb. And for someone like you, uh, if you're really wanting to get to Diamond, the way the majority of gold and platinum players get to Diamond for the first time is one tricking. If you're trying to get to Diamond doing anything else but one tricking, um, you've got about a 99.9% .9 failure rate. And then even if you're only if you are one tricking, you've got about a two like a 1.5 to 2% um, success rate. So like either way you do it. The chances are really low. It's not impossible, but it's very hard. And the reason it's hard is because Diamond is the top 2% of players. There are a lot of good players on there. A lot of them have gotten coaching. A lot of them have this one champion that they're really good at and they can one trick. But if you put them on another role or another set of champions, they probably wouldn't stay in Diamond for very long because they, can't ju they just can't play at the same level. They can play their one trick or their champion with the most mastery on. So... Coming back to what you need to do, the biggest thing you need to do is figure out what role you want to play. It doesn't matter which one. Just pick the one you enjoy the most and ideally the one uh, you are the best at. Because if you can get that combination of I have fun on this role and I enjoy this role and I'm good at this role, we've got the perfect combination of something for long-term success. Um, then after that, you're like, okay, I've got my role. I want to play top lane. You then go, okay, 
um, maximum three champions, ideally two, and highest win rate um, or highest chance of you getting to diamond is just one tricking. So three champions max lowers your um, chance of success. Two increases your chance of success a little bit more than three. And one is your best chance of getting to diamond. Um, you pick that champion or those two champions and you just play them. Day in, day out, developing mastery on them, making sure you're enjoying them and you just keep playing them. And then if you're like, well, fuck, I hate Orn after three months, you go, well, okay, I'm not going to sabotage my account. What I'm going to do is get a second account or use my Smurf account, and I'm going to learn new champions that I think I could potentially carry with. And I'm going to learn them on my second account so that I don't fuck up my main account's MMR and its chances of getting to Diamond, and I keep training until I've got a new champion to replace Orn that I can play at a very high level, and then you bring that over to your main account. Super simple but no one has the discipline to do it. So Jack, if that's how you, if that's like, if your goal is really to get to diamond and go from the top 21% of players to the top 2%, that's basically what you gotta do. And even then, uh, only 2% or less of gold players succeed in doing that. And so you go, well, fuck, you know, 2%, that means like out of every uh, 100 gold players, only two of them will make it into diamond. So. What do those two players do differently out of those 100? Well, probably at least one of them gets coaching or some form of coaching in at some point in their journey, whether it's when they get gold, when they get plat, or you know if they just can't break into diamond, they get coaching and they just get personalized um, performance analysis on what exactly they need to do. And the beauty of that is coaches, when you find a good one, um, they have gotten you know dozens or hundreds of players from gold or platinum to diamond like myself, um, we know exactly what's gonna be holding you back. Yes, every person is different, but we see patterns, we know what works, just like you know, one tricking is the fastest way to climb. We know these kind of things. And once we review your gameplay and figure out what you need to fix, we can basically break down in order of priority or importance, what is the biggest thing, not holding you back from going from gold two to diamond, but what's the biggest thing holding you back from going gold two to plat four? What, okay, cool, we've solved that now in maybe a month or two months or a couple of game reviews. Then we go, okay, well, what's the biggest thing holding you back now from going from plat four, the top uh, 8% of players, to plat two, like the top six to 5% of players? Cool, let's break it down. Let's figure out exactly what you've got to do step by step. Here's the training. Here's what you've got to focus on. This is what you've got to do. Coach does it all for you. You've just got to implement it. We basically give you the tools to build the house and we tell you exactly how to build the house. You've just got to build the house. So. I mean, that's pretty easy, right? You've got the instructions. It's like an Ikea furniture setup. All you gotta do is follow in the instructions and you've got the tools. Um, you do that and you'll eventually get to Diamond as long as you keep following the advice. So if you're interested in looking at what like a personalized coaching plan could look for someone like you, where you've got this a bit of this identity crisis, you go on losing streaks, so there's a bit of a mentality issue there and you're not sure how to carry and your goal too, you really wanna get to Diamond, what I recommend is once you watch this, Jack, please reach out to me and we can book a free call and I can basically run you through um, what it would look like coaching for you, for your budget and what your goals are and what kind of strategy or champions or role you wanna play. We can break down exactly what like a three month, six month, whatever month plan could look like, even if it's just a one-off session. So I hope you enjoyed this profile view. Um, you've got a lot of potential here. You just gotta like really zone in on one champion or one role and just pinpoint it, get mastery on it, and climb. But I hope you enjoyed the profile view. As always, cheers, good luck on the rift, and I'll talk to you once you've watched this.